One of the well-known types of internal combustion engine is two-stroke engine, this type was widely used on motorcycles before four-stroke engines were popular. Then how do the two-stroke engine work? See the following animation. First, we will learn the basic principles of engine in vehicles. If you pay attention to the vehicle exhaust, there must be smoke even a little and the smoke is produced if there is fire burning something. In fact, combustion is the basic principle of the engine. The reason, combustion has potential energy that can be converted into physical energy. When combustion occurs in a closed space, it will produce an explosion. And we know that explosion have expansion power. This expansion power is used to push the piston. So that we get the physical energy. But how to get combustion inside the engine? The combustion occurs when the fuel burn. But we cannot forget that the fire need oxygen. So to get the combustion, we need air, fuel, and fire. Air and fuel are mixed on the carburetor with ideal scale while the fire produced by spark plug by ignition system. If the three material meet together, the combustion occurs. However, if the condition is like this, the piston is only pushed down. In fact, the physical energy we need is rotational motion. To solve this, there is a crank mechanism under the piston. It functions to convert the vertical motion of the piston into rotation. In addition, the crank mechanism makes the piston move back upward, so that combustion can be done again so that the engine can run longer. Then the question is, how to make the combustion happen continuously? In a two-stroke engine, there are only two steps for combustion to occur continuously. The first step is when the piston moves upward. When the piston moves upward, the space under the piston is enlarged. In addition, the intake channel that was originally covered by the piston wall, now is open. This condition causes the air and fuel mixture sucked into the crank chamber. The second step is when the piston moves down. The movement of the piston makes the crank chamber shrink, so that the air-fuel mixture in the crank chamber is pushed into the combustion chamber through the transfer channel. After that, return to step 1 where the piston moves up again. The crank chamber is enlarges, so that air and fuel are sucked in. While the combustion chamber is narrowed, even though, this space is filled with air-fuel mixture. This condition makes the air-fuel mixture in the combustion chamber is compressed, so that the temperature and pressure rise. After that continue to step 2 where the piston moves down. At this time, the spark plug is sparked. So that the compressed air-fuel mixture in the combustion chamber burn, and produces an expansion power that pushes the piston down. This combustion is what we need to keep the engine running. At the same time, the piston movement causes the crank chamber is narrowed, and the air-fuel mixture is pushed into the combustion chamber. Before the piston reaches the bottom dead center, the exhaust channel opens. Air-fuel mixture from the crank chamber moves to the combustion chamber, and pushes the residual gas out into the exhaust channel. When the piston reaches the bottom dead center, the residual gas has flushed out and now, the combustion chamber is filled with fresh air fuel mixture. So the conclusion, the two-stroke engine has only two steps. Each step has two processes. The first step, consists of intake and compression processes. Step 2, consisting of combustion and exhaust. Meanwhile, the gas mobility only utilizes piston walls which can close or open the gas channels based on piston movement. So, a two-stroke engine does not require a valve mechanism. That's an explanation of the two-stroke engine, 
subscribe this channel and stay tuned to the next video.